Ladies and gentlemen, Windmill Ranches, right on Highway 93, Kingman, Arizona, only 10, 15 miles over here, I-48 miles, straight up the road, takes you to Vegas, back to Phoenix, wiki up that way, electricity's right here, 35 and a quarter acres, wow, and I bet the survey partner's going to be right over there, stay tuned, this is a good one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've been showing you the road in here to Windmill Ranches. This is where a lot of people have been moving from California. Even people that are starting to feel congestion in Phoenix and Kingman are moving out here. Uh, this came from one of our network dealers that, that uh, knows that we love this estate merchandise. And it took a little while for all the paperwork to get through, but you have basically a 40 acre parcel they took a little bit of it away when they widened the highway so now it's 35.24 acres it's going to run right down here by the electric pole to a fence you have here very close to the entryway maintained road right here it's going to be a thousand feet that direction 1400 feet this direction now this is what i want you to see very important it looks like somebody has spent a huge amount of money fencing in this parcel over here. So we're going to go to the west, the southwest corner. It's going to be 1,400 feet this direction, right along that fence right there. So this is a good one. You'll be seeing on the map. Uh, great location right off. Great location right off 93 here, and that'll take you to Vegas, Henderson, up north. Take you back to Phoenix that way. I-40s right up the road. So let's go for a little hike. All right, so first time I've ever been on this property here. It's been in legal works for a year or two. But I, if this fence goes all the way around, this is a twenty, thirty thousand dollars fence here. Bob wire, four, professionally done, looks fairly new. It's going that direction, going that direction. Also might be a camper or a shack on this property. We'll find it if there is. All right, folks, we've came up your fence line here. We're at about a thousand feet, so about two thirds of the distance up this way right here. Gives you a good panoramic view of the property. You'll see a lot of houses on the other side of 93, people building all around the hills here. You have a lot of vegetation here. You have some arroyos, some little hills, ridges, looks like some tracks, mesquite trees, octatillo cactus, sagebrush, desert holly. Who else? Who knows what else we'll find here? 
A lot of rocks, a lot of quartz in here. Old mining area, the Kingman Turquoise Mine, world famous, not far from here actually. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are on your windmill ranch, uh, 35.24. I took my trusty little GPS with the coordinates, and it took me right here to your official survey marker. Now, it's very common out here in the West when they put different fences in. They didn't have the... Uh, the luxury of GPS so a lot of times the fences are off a little bit this fence is about 20 30 feet off the property but it's on your property and it basically ends right here at this corner but that is the official survey marker and you do have the legal right if you wanted to move the fence over here and get your other 10 20 feet whatever it may be so this is the northwest corner of this lot right here ladies and gentlemen now it is going to be a thousand feet to that corner there might be a camper or a shed in here, some other roads and trails. So now we're gonna go over the fence, but there is the windmill marker, and that's the official original survey stake when this was platted. Oh, there's the other part of the broken um, marker that broke off. They made this where you could see your borders easily, so that actually went like that at one time. But now we got to climb our fence here and get back on the main part of your property. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've just climbed this uh, magnificent five wire fence. That is an expensive fence, but it is on this side. It's on your property. It ends right there and goes back that way. But your property line is actually right over here. And then 1,040 feet, I believe it's going to go that direction, right there. So we're going to take you for a walk. Can't see the car. We've came up more than a quarter mile. So it's fun checking these out. Like I said, first time I've been here, there's a, a game trail, cattle trail there. Now I can see the interstate way down there. Let's get up here on this high point. All right, ladies and gentlemen, great view. This is the high point of your lot. Now, you have a ridge that runs on the south side of your property, and you can see there's an old Jeep trail that comes up here. Your property's basically running down those telephone poles right before you get to the interstate. Now this little Mesa Ridge here is probably 200 feet wide down there. Then you have a valley, drops off sharply, and then you have a level valley. Your land's gonna go almost to this side of the bridge by the interstate. It's gonna come up the valley directly to the north at around a thousand more feet that direction right there. Now, what great views you have, 360 degrees. You've got the mountains, California back that way. You have some neighbors right over here. It looks like they have a greenhouse, a nice house, campers. There's another neighbor right over there, another neighbor right there. So you can see people are building up like crazy on here. Now, right across the highway, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 11 houses built here in the not too distant past. So let's give them a good view of that house, their neighbor there. That's only two or 300 yards away. Another neighbor a quarter of a mile away. Another neighbor a little over an eighth of a mile by the look. Electricity here on the lot, easy to access. And you probably have 500 building locations. And we're gonna go ahead and we see, they said there was some stuff, some improvements on this land. And it looks like you have some corrals down here that you're gonna own. Now you can fence in the rest of your land right here. Keep the open range cattle out. 
So we're going to go down in there. Michelle's on the camera. She's going to get you a view of the mountains and your neighbors on that side right there. And I'll meet you down here, Michelle. All right, folks, uh, the camera ladies made it down here with me. We're in your valley now. Neighbor's dog's still barking at us over there. Trying to see if there was another fence. Or if they had a fence, that's your neighbor's. Uh, but you have manzanitas down here, mesquites down here, different cactuses. Uh, they are running cattle or horses in here, so a lot of grazing going on. Big prickly pear cactus right there. And we're not even halfway across your valley, so onward we go, straight to the north. Heading for the northwest corner of the property. All right, folks, uh, now stopping at your western border, halfway to the north side. So looking back to the south, you'll see the ridge that runs down towards the highway. That's all your property, too. We'll get you another little look and just keep going forward here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are now at the northwest border. You have another fence on the north side of your property. However, they missed again. This lines up when they put the fence in. It's both fences are off about 20, 30 feet. But there is your official marker of your property right there. And then they put in for the easement. You'll see the fence goes, makes a little turn, dog legs back down there. So now all you have to do is run a fence back up that way. And I know now you got three uh, quarters of your place fenced in. We will go around, see how this fence goes, show you the rest of the property. This is a good fun one, but a heck of a fence right here. They probably put it in and just kept repairing it because this is an expensive fence. And you see how the fence goes around here? So they were just about 20 foot off, whoever the surveyor was. And then you have an easement that runs back to the west there that lines up right here. So here's your property corner, which you actually own another 20 foot. Now the fence is going to go straight towards the highway this direction right here. So, I mean, to fence this in, you're looking at twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 fencing that's already in place for you. All right, honey, let's go down this way.
all mesquite down here. Following your property line matches up with the fence pretty darn good. Heading to the east. And there is a little bit, looks like when it rains a lot, you have a little bit of a running creek over here, running water draw. Okay, folks, still coming down the north border, going to the east. And we're still about 450 feet to the end of your property, up by the bridge. The fence ends right here and goes back that direction. So it looks like we got more hiking to do. We'll get this all figured out for you. I can see a dirt road there, and I think that's a road through your property right there, your own road. So we'll show you the fence. It's coming down the side of your property and then it has a cutoff over here. And then the fence goes back this direction, but it's not real straight. I see it weave a little bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm understanding it a little bit better now looking at the map. So you have a fence that's running that way this is the easement windmill ranch road that runs through your property and you can fence the other side if you want to also so we'll spin that camera around you'll see the road continues on and then there's a road a jeep trail that goes up next to your property up that canyon the main road goes on in the corner of your property is towards that bridge another probably 400 feet over there but we're going to go see if we can see those improvements and follow that fence because it's a great property we're going to show you as much as we can all right folks before we go to the corrals we're going to go over here to the corner that is by the highway and now that i look this is the easement along your property uh, it continues on here but no one's been using this part but i can see where it was cut in at one time and so we're less than 300 feet to the property border over here All right, folks, we've came to the northeast corner of the property, and it's that white angle iron beat in the ground, and there you have the fence lines up with the other one. But let me show you this. This is old 93. I think this was taken out back in the 1960s. This used to be uh, State Road 93, and there was a bridge right over here. Now you have the new highway over there. So you have a road over here that you can use too. This is your land and you could fence it in back up to the other easement road. Cool. Uh, let's go back to the other uh, road. All right, folks, we showed you the northeast corner. We've came back across the Windmill Ranch Road that runs through your property, back to the fence, so your property is already fenced in on three sides. That's a huge amount of money. I think I see the crowds coming up. All right, folks, now we've came back towards the south, and we've came back up about six, eight foot in elevation. Good spot to build right back here. But here's the improvements on the deed. It is a corral and a watering pen. There's a gate up there. So if you have some horses, a horse or two, boy, you can get your camper, your fifth wheeler back here. You are set. We'll check that out. We're going around and look at the other side. All right, folks, now you have a chain link corral metal 
and then there's the chute, and then they had a ramp to load the cattle or horses up into a trailer and take them to market. The woods kind of broke down here. The rest of it's okay, so you got a place right here. There's the gate. It takes you right to the road, all fenced in. All right, we're in your corral, chain link fence. You have a stock tank for water. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. You have a gate there. You had a corral entrance there, and then you had the chute over there, a feeding trough. You put a little gate up here, or just pull your camper in here till you build your mansion. Let's go on down the road. All right, folks, I'm back on Windmill Ranch Road, which runs through your property. You own the property on that side. There's your drive up to your gate and your fenced-in property, at least on three sides. Cars parked right down here. That's going to complete our showing of this 35.24-acre Windmill Ranch's fenced-in ranch property on State Road 93. We'll see you at the auction.